friends, and welcome to your Friday One Show with Alex. And Christoph. Uh, now, our, our next item is right up your street, we think, because we know you're a huge Stranglers fan, is that correct? I was in my teenage years, very much so, yeah. Got all the records? All the records. Right. Have you seen the band? I saw them in 1981 and then again in 2006. All right. All right. Well, we're going to ask Claudia to play a bit of Stranglers for us. <laughs> This is Peaches, by the way, and now Cary Grant has the story behind another of the Stranglers' biggest hits. What a bummer. The year was 1977, and what a turbulent year it was. Britain bounced between street parties for the Queen's Silver Jubilee and bitter strikes. Music fans would mourn Elvis and groove along to old-style disco whilst being knocked out by a completely new sound topping the charts. It was the age of punk and right out front were the Stranglers. Their first two albums went top ten and today they've sold more than 20 million records worldwide. But in 1977, their anthem No More Heroes really summed up what punk was all about the rejection of the past, from politics and people to fashion and pop. The title of the song is a bit of a slogan. No more I think there was a certain feeling that um, all the new bands were kind of anti-heroes, and that if you were going to do anything, you were going to do it yourself. Be your own hero, don't look up to anyone else. And it was a chance for people who weren't hugely proficient in music just to make a bit of noise. What was the quintessential punk sound? As far as I'm concerned, quintessential punk uh, sound didn't really exist. Some had keyboards, some had much more of a metal feel to their guitar playing. So it was kind of anarchic. You know, people started, started using terms like new wave as well, you know, punk, new wave, whatever. Because it was it just to describe something which, which was, happened spontaneously all through the nation, you know. It was just provocative. Were you ever banned? Banned? Yeah. Yeah, all the time. We, we were banned. Uh, we were banned from countries. Uh, we were banned from. Uh, we were banned from London uh, by the, what was then the Greater London Council for wearing a provocative T-shirt at one point. What was it that you stood for that was so offensive to people? You tell me. I don't know. I, I suspect we, uh, we stood for freedom and something uh, which was questioning the status quo at the time, you know, and it wasn't safe music. No More Heroes was co-written by Jean-Jacques Bernal and the band's former lead guitarist, Hugh Cornwall. Well, Hugh wrote most of the lyrics. Um, and sang it. Uh, I came up with the riff, and then um, because it was quite competitive between Hugh and myself at the time, the riff at the very beginning is, is me showing off. Uh, that's it, that's basically it. In every way, the Stranglers refused to fit the stereotypical view of punks. The track No More Heroes featured an unusual cast list drawn from their favourite films and literature, like the story of Don Quixote. What did those people that you were writing about mean to you? Sancho Panza is, is the real hero in Don Quixote, but he's uh, Don Quixote's sidekick. Um, and then the great Elmira, who's a, a huge arts for, art forger, you know, who, and there's probably still loads of his paintings hanging up in galleries all over the world. So these kind of were anti-heroes, and Trotsky as well, you know. These are all people who weren't the obvious heroes, and we considered ourselves more to be like that. Question everything, and intellectually, uh, that's an important part of being a, uh, in a democracy, isn't it? <laughs> What do you think about when you hear that song now? I enjoy playing it because I like the reaction to it. The great thing about music is that it's a medium to express yourself. It shouldn't be just some bland, soporific wallpaper. There's so much to write about in the world anyway. Uh. 
Stranglers. So, a uh, huge super fan of the Stranglers and other heroes in the 80s, and you wrote a book about your heroes. I did. I wrote a book about heroes, and, uh, and the Stranglers were definitely part of that 